Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord my God. Happy New Year to you. This is a wonderful day, the day the Lord himself has made. And we'll rejoice and be glad in it. I welcome you to a brand new year, a year of blessing, a year of hope. My name is Patrick Tolani. I'm a pastor with Christ Love Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. We, I hope you've got your copy of the Open Heavens Daily Guide for 2012. You cannot live without it. It's a great resource. Please buy your copy from any shop that sells it, particularly the OTV shop. God bless you. Now, we are considering a topic which says, Hear Him. What a topic to consider at the beginning of the year. And the Bible passage is taken from the book of John chapter 1, and we're reading verse 1 to 5. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Also Galatians chapter 1 verse 10 to 18. For do I know now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I still please men, I will not be a born servant of Christ. But I make known to you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached by me is not according to man. For I neither received it from man, nor was I taught it, but it came through the revelation of Jesus Christ. For you have heard of my former conduct in Judaism, how I persecuted the church of God beyond measure and tried to destroy it. I advanced in Judaism beyond many of my contemporaries in my own nation, being more exceedingly zealous for the traditions of my fathers. But when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb, he called me through his grace to reveal his son in me that I might preach him among the Gentiles. I did not immediately confer with flesh and blood, nor did I go to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me. But I went to Arabia and returned again to Damascus. Then, after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to see Peter. A memory verse is Psalm 85, verse 8. I will hear what God, the Lord will speak, for his, he will speak peace to his people and to his saints, but let them not turn back to fully. Once again, Happy New Year to you, my viewers. Today is an amazing thing to know that another year is, has come upon us in the land of the living. We have never traveled this road before. The experiences and methods used to do whatever God wants us to do this year is going to be completely different from the ones we have used in the past years. That is the reason we need to wait on the Lord to hear Him before we set out on the journey of another year. The psalmist say, I will hear what the Lord will speak. The Lord will speak peace. I assure you this year that the Lord will surely speak peace, but do not turn back to folly. As we are encouraged in the Open Heavens Daily Devotional today by Pastor Adeboye, we need to trust in the Lord with the whole of our hearts and not depend on our own understanding. We need to ask Him to direct us in the way of righteousness for His name's sake. Our action point is we should just thank God throughout today for being able to enter into the new year. If you want a change in your world, then receive the word of God. Happy New Year and God be with you. Amen.